Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kim Arts and Cross Nation, and in today's episode, we'll be going over <laughs> whether or not you should pull from the uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku and Mickey banner that we just got today. I'm not gonna lie, I feel kind of bad <laughs> that this came out. Uh, to be honest, I thought this was gonna be like a a, a, a JP exclusive medal. Uh, pretty much because of fact, like, they don't have, JP doesn't have the Toy Story event that Global does right now. So I figured when this came out on JP, uh, it was just going to be an exclusive medal for them. So that way they have at least a version, uh, of a medal similar to Woody that we have right now. But I, I guess I was wrong. And both Global and JP have it. So it's like, oh well. <laughs> Luckily, this is a type of situation in which case you don't have to have the medal. Uh, but having it obviously is really good, uh, but I'll, I'll go into that in a second. But first of all, it's another Prime Metal, which I find interesting. I don't know if this was supposed to be like the original Prime Metal. The fact that we have another Speed Upright Prime Metal that's actually different compared to the other Prime Metals that we've had so far it makes me question whether or not how many actual Prime Metals are we going to be receiving so far. And So I'm kind of curious about that. But anyways, before I get into uh specifics and stuff let me go over what the metal actually does for those of you not aware so this is what it looks like it's a speed upright metal tier four uh aoe costs four gauges has a damage multiplier at six star from a 6.16 to a 10.72 um seven star it's 18.03 to a 22.58 and then the six star ability says that for two turns that's actually important two turns uh it raises strength by seven speed strength by four lowers targets upright defense and speed defense by three and general defense by four raises your guilt by 40 percent for all metals on your keyblade and does more damage to higher hp and the seven star version of the ability is the exact same thing except it now provides the upright uh, strength buff by three tiers as well overall it's a really good metal it is a prime metal after all, so I would hope it's a it's a really good metal. Um, however, the key thing is is that obviously it's getting a main comparison between the prime woody metal that we currently have in the game uh, with this metal. Now, normally with all prime metal like banners and stuff like that, I would suggest just pulling once on the metal and then leaving it at that. Okay. However, because of the fact that this metal is not too different from Woody, although it does have some extra benefits that are make it better than Woody, whether or not you should actually pull for this metal or not actually comes down to what metals do you already have type of thing. So in this case, here are some of the quick pros about this metal. Um, the thing is, it is it does last for two turns, meaning that it's perfect for PvP because it can carry over into multiple other turns and such. Um, and the second thing actually is, is that if you have a seven star version of this metal, it can actually be a, just slightly more beneficial uh, in terms of setups compared to using Prime Woody. It's not too much of a difference, but it can still be a significant difference depending on the Keyblade that you're using. So like for example, just to give you guys an idea of what I mean, in the past before this metal, uh, you can actually achieve full max stats, so max buffs and max debuffs, uh, within your first three slots. And because of the fact you do apply effects before actual damage occurs, um, you can realistically start doing damage by slot three. This is assuming you don't already have Kyrie or Shioni X Plus, for example. So like right here on the screen uh, is an example of exactly what I mean of a standard setup that you could use to achieve max stats by your first two or three slots. Um, in which case right here, I'm using a stained glass uh, number five along with Woody and I'm using Beagle Boys uh, over here to copy the Woody. And as you can see over here on the right hand side with the new update to khuxtracker.com, we can see the, all of the buffs and debuffs that are being applied by the time we reach slot three. And as you can tell here, uh, we have all of our general strength buffs, we have all of our speed buffs, and we have all of our upright buffs. That's all we need. Um, as well as we have all our general defense down debuffs, speed debuffs, and upright debuffs. We literally have max everything now, which is what we're going for. Probably the most key benefit in terms of setups uh, when it comes to uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku and Mickey and Prime Woody is the fact that you can actually slightly take advantage 
of the fact that Riku and Mickey provides general strength to actually help you cut back on one less metal in the setup. So like for example, like here I have on the screen, if you happen to have a copy metal with extra attack, you can actually use that on a seven star version of Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku and Mickey uh, in order to still get the same amount of buffs and divas, max buffs and divas. However, the key difference here is the fact you actually did it in two slots rather than three. So what that would mean is depending on the keyblade that you're using, you can actually start putting a stronger damage metal uh, in by that third slot instead to give yourself just a little bit extra damage. Now, of course, granted, if you already have extra attack on your Woody, for example, then it's not a big deal because you can do it in two slots regardless of which uh, metal that you have. However, if you don't have extra attack on your Woody, let's say you only pulled once, for example, like I suggested, and you only have like a plain vanilla Woody with no guilt, no dots, no skills, no no traits, nothing on it, like, like myself, um, getting a copy of the Kingdom Hearts 2 Riku and Mickey wouldn't be a bad idea because it's a lot easier within the game to get a copy metal with extra attack compared to trying to get extra attack on this actual specific metal instead. So whether or not you should actually pull from this metal, I'll leave that up to you guys because it does depend on what metals you already have by now. Uh, so in my instance, because in fact I have a plain vanilla Woody um, and I do have an extra attack copy metal, I pretty much pulled for the Riku metal uh, in order to save me one slot so I can do extra damage depending on the keyblade I'm using. If you choose to pull for Riku and Mickey, then in that case I still wouldn't recommend pulling more than once just like with the other prime metals. but. The decision of whether or not to actually get it, of course, is going to be up to you guys. Uh, and for those of you that are like, hmm, I already got Woody, I probably am not going to do that. Just keep in mind, that is not really a big deal whether or not you can afford to get him or not. Because of the fact that we are getting 3,000 free jewels for today, uh, tomorrow, and Sunday combined. We're getting 1,000 jewels each day. Uh, and just looking at a, back at the Twitter post uh, to help show that, uh, they actually announced on Twitter like a day or two ago saying that uh, to celebrate Union Cross being featured on the Google Play Store and with all the new players joining, we will be sending 1,000 jewels on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday each Okay, to all players who log in those days. Thank you and enjoy. So in case you're showing those jewels, if you have zero jewels, uh, because the fact you pulled on Kairi Shioni X Plus multiple times, even though I said not to, you'll still be able to get 3,000 jewels this weekend, assuming you log in every single day, to be able to pull from the banner if you want to. By the way, just as a quick disclaimer, this post right here on Twitter, from what I can tell, this entire post right here is complete garbage. It is, it, from what I can tell, it, this is just purely a PR stunt. As far as I can tell, they are not being featured on the Google Play Store at all whatsoever. Uh, I actually went to the Google Play Store, here I am right now, I went through all like the top listings that it could possibly be in, and I have not spotted this game at all, like at all whatsoever. I would spot their other uh, Final Fantasy like mobile games and stuff on here, uh, but not Kingdom Hearts, like heck, they even have the uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper game right here that we had a collaboration with like not so long ago. Like I, can, like, I cannot find this game on any sort of like featured list whatsoever, so I have no idea what they're talking about. Heck, when I even go uh, to the game itself, okay, it's at four stars right now, and from what I'm hearing, it's actually still dropping slowly as well. When I look at the reviews, it's just a bunch of one stars over and over and over and over, okay? There's like very barely any like actual good reviews about this game that pop up amongst the top, which tells me just things. Some of the reviews actually, uh, such as like this one right here, actually they kind of come across like they've been fabricated, almost like they got paid uh, to say a good thing about it too. I'm not saying that there's nothing good about this game either, because I, I love this game. It's so it's the reason why I make this channel and stuff, because um, I want the best for it. Uh, but some of them sound like they were written. <laughs> I actually found a Reddit post as well by Yumo Tech on Reddit that honestly had a perfect description of the entire thing as well that pretty much shows that yeah this is almost 100% like a complete lie and PR stunt and that it's just and that the whole point of this like free featured giveaway this weekend is just damage control uh, because of like everything that's been going on lately I even retweeted their tweet uh, on Twitter saying that I'm basically tired of like Square Enix thinking that they can just 
bribe us with like free jewels and stuff into thinking that like we're okay with them continuously making mistakes like this okay or just screwing over the player base and taking advantage of us um it's especially with how lackluster the the like bribes and stuff are too it's it's just getting to the point where i'm just really sick and tired of the way they're de the, how they handle things and i at the very least myself and I, I would like to think by extension you guys as well what we're looking for at this point is actual long-term improvements to the games not these simple quick fixes that can be like oh, okay uh give me free jewels and i'll and i'll ignore it okay nah okay nah fam that only works when you don't make mistakes that often and you actually please your your client for all of you longtime veterans who've been playing the game since near the beginning and stuff like i have you pretty much know how much square enix has been trying to take advantage of us and like uh, screw us over the entirety of this game to the point where like it's it, it can be really depressing uh, like a, a lot of times the fact that the community expects the worst out of Square Enix as well is already a bad sign <laughs> as to how we feel about the situation as well. So it, it's it's kind of getting to the point where the community is just like, I'm sorry, Square Enix, but like it, it's kind of too late. The only way you can actually like fix things with the community and gain back our trust at this point in time is to actually make a better game. Okay, it feels bad to say that considering it's Kingdom Hearts, but it's also sad to say not really kingdom hearts <laughs> either so i don't know but at the very least if you log in every day for today tomorrow and sunday uh you'll get 3,000 jewels to pull once from the riku and mickey banner if you if you choose to do so but other than that my name is brian from kingdom hearts and cross nation and i'll see you guys in the next video peace